Hello fellow planters. So you can always take peperomias and take leaves and stick them in water and they'll eventually root. If you actually take the leaf of a peperomia, this is actually this leaf here is a peperomia peppermill, but I don't know why it's looking this way in the way it is growing at my west facing window. The daughter plant I have at the office is doing so much better, but usually when you have it with just a leaf, it roots better than when you have the stem of a peperomia. This is a peperomia rosso, if I'm not mistaken. And then I do have a leaf that's kind of wilted of a string of hearts. It may not root, but I can always try. Here's a, a string of turtles that's almost dead, but who knows, it will probably just rot and then I'll take it out of the water. And I have a couple small string of turtle leaves, which is a Peperomia prostrata that I can also attempt to root in water. But a lot of Peperomias, they'll root in water, but I think they do better if you root directly in the soil. But this video is on water propagation, mainly angel wing begonia leaves. So if you have an angel wing begonia and the leaf breaks off, you can always stick it in water and you'll get some roots. So time will tell uh, on how long it will grow a whole new plant from this. But I do have some peperomias in here, a um, basically a peperomia peppermill to root and a peperomia prostrata leaf that keeps going upside down on me. So anyway, I thought I'd do this quick video just to show you how easy it is to root these. These rooted in I think a couple weeks and They've been on the bathroom window sill on the west facing window. And once again, that leaf flipped over. So I don't know why this pepperoni leaf doesn't like to stay horizontal, but as long as it draws roots, I'll be happy. And I can go ahead and stick these in because I don't feel like soil propagating them at the moment. And I'm good to go. So, whoops. Yeah, I don't know why some of the leaves like to go vertical. That's why if you propagate by leaf, you can stick directly in the soil. It might keep the leaf in formation better. And then if you water propagate, you propagate with the stem on the leaf, like with that other peperomia, the Rosso. So anyway, if any of these leaves die, I'll keep an eye on them. Check them like once a week or so. and. If any of these leaves do die, then I'll remove them and the ones that stay alive will eventually root. So I hope you enjoy this video and are inspired to start propagating your own angel wing begonias from leaves. This way you can get a ton in a short amount of time versus trying to find viable stems from your mother plant. But I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and happy planting!